Ida for refusing to pay my sister's bill and giving her information to the restaurant after she ditched me? This happened last night. My sister and her BF recently moved to a town next to mine. I was excited as we'll be able to see more of each other now. Nearby, there is a downtown center that has a lot of shopping, restaurants, galleries, etc. There is one upscale restaurant that both my husband and I love. A dinner for two will run you about $200 $250, so it's not a place we frequently go to. My sister called me last week and invited us out to dinner with them at the restaurant last night. I reminded her it was an upscale place and to take a look at the menu beforehand because they are pricey and we can go somewhere else, to tons of other great places. She said they still wanted to go. We hadn't been there in a while, so we accepted. Dinner was great. At the end of the meal my sister excuses herself to the bathroom and when she doesn't come back relatively soon her BF goes to find her. After a while, neither of them comes back. We went to check for them and they were gone. I call text her and she texts back that they've left, but thanks for dinner, it was just as amazing as you said it would be. I asked her what she meant, but no response. I texted again asking if she really just stuck us with the bill and no response. I then texted that I never agreed to pay for them and that she had 30 minutes to come back to the restaurant or I'll give the restaurant all her information and they will likely involve the police. No response. At the 30 minute mark I called texted and got no response. So I stayed true to my word. I paid for mine and my husband's portion and gave all her information to the manager for their portion and then left. The next day, she called me back, upset that she'd been getting calls from the restaurant asking her to come pay or that they'd contact the police. I said I'm not surprised since she skipped out on her bill. She said she thought I was paying the tab since I've paid for our dinners in the past, I have paid for her plus me only dinners where the total tab was $60 max. I said this was obviously different than the other times we met for dinner, this was all four of us and at an upscale restaurant, and I was not paying the $450 tab, and she had to cover her portion. I reminded her that she had invited us out and had chosen the restaurant. I specifically asked if she wanted to go somewhere else, but she insisted on going to this restaurant. I ever agreed to pay for everyone. She then said she thought I'd just pay, but when I asked the waiter for separate checks, she realized I wasn't and left for the bathroom, planning to ditch. I said that since the restaurant hadn't contacted the police yet, all she had to do was go in and pay, and it would be settled. She didn't want to do that because it would be too embarrassing and asked me to cover it. I again said no, and that she had to take care of it. Our family has gotten involved, and I'm being pressured to just pay the bill. Ida, if I don't, can I let the restaurant call the police? Clearly, I will not be paying for anything ever again. Edit. Only answering a few questions of I'm seeing that I'm NTA, and it has only been less than an hour. This event truly really made me feel like a piggy bank and not a sister which is the most upsetting. We are all early mid-30s. She's never really been this terrible, but she has almost always found a way to bring my salary into conversations. For example the first time I met her BF, we were talking about cars as he just bought a brand new car. I said I'd like to get into a new car, but that I can't afford it right now, true, I'm a saver and not a spender, and her response was you make XXX, you can definitely afford that car. This event truly really made me feel like a piggy bank and not a sister which is the most upsetting.